What would you do if you were to find yourself involved with three different men, each with distinct personalities? This is the reality of Kobayashi Haru, a girl who has been in a relationship only to discover that her fiancé is already married and about to have a baby. This experience makes her hesitant to fall in love again. As she is walking to work one day, she receives a notification from a dating app on her phone. Distracted by the notification, she is bumped into by a man who ends up returning her phone after accidentally swiping on her dating app and matching with an older man. At her pet grooming shop, a regular customer named Sugisaki notices her troubled expression and offers her advice saying that she won't have to worry because men will come to her in the next 3 months. The very next day, a male customer comes in and asks her to groom his dog and it turns out to be an assistant beautician. He becomes intrigued by her after watching her work and even gets a piece of the dog's fur stuck on her face. After work, Haru and her friend Asami go to a bar where they meet a handsome bartender who creates a drink for her, claiming it will help her move on and find new love. Coincidentally, a famous band member also arrives at the bar and Haru realizes she encountered him earlier that morning. After a few drinks, Asami warns her about the three beasts, the bartender, band member, and beautician, men she can admire but shouldn't date. The next day, Haru wakes up to find that her apartment building has burned down, forcing her to move in with her grandmother. Much to her surprise, her new housemates are none other than the beautician, Shintaro, the band member, Yu, and the bartender, Yoshi and so begins a whirlwind romance. This series is a light-hearted romantic comedy that fans of the reverse harem genre are sure to enjoy. Although I'm not particularly a fan of this genre, as it can be difficult to choose an end ship and hurts when your favorite choice ends up as a second option, I think it's worth giving this series a chance. Coming home after living overseas for years can bring back many emotions, especially when you run into your first love from high school. This is what happened to Waka and Shinobu. Waka, who is both a librarian and a book lover, meets Shinobu at the local library where she works. Upon recognizing her, Waka is taken aback. After checking out a book, he asks Shinobu to accompany him to a realtor since he is unfamiliar with the area. Her colleagues and the library speculate that they will start dating after the appointment. Waka denies their claims and reflects on their past from their second year in high school. After work, Shinobu finds Waka waiting for her outside the library and they head to the realtor's office. The realtor recognizes Shinobu and reveals that she needs to find a new place to live for her messy book collection as her parents are moving to Malaysia. During their visit, Waka receives a call from her father asking if she has found a new place. Shinobu overhears and offers to have her move in with him, paying half of the rent. She agrees to the offer but is wary of the living situation. That night, Waka cooks dinner for Shinobu and confesses his feeling for her but she is hesitant due to past heartbreak. Shinobu then cooks dinner for Waka as a way of saying thank you, but her cooking is terrible. To her surprise, Waka likes her gratin and they discuss her feelings that never faded since their school days. The next day, Waka shows up with a bouquet of red roses and confesses again, asking her to go out with him. However, her fear of love prevails and she refuses. But Waka bows to make her fall in love with him. This series is a slightly more mature drama series that is perfect for fans of the genre. It has a light and enjoyable feel and makes you want to watch more episodes. Additionally, it is based on a manga of the same name by Kisaragi Hiro, making it an even more appealing series for fans. This series is a live action adaptation of the popular manga Rent a Girlfriend by Miyajima Reiji. It gained popularity and was also adapted into an anime series. Kinoshita Kajia, a 20-year-old college student studying business, 
lives on the money given to him by his parents. Despite being an ordinary guy, he had a girlfriend, Nanami Mami, who left him for someone else. Heartbroken, Kazuya sought the help of an online girlfriend rental service to ease his pain. The next day, he meets Mizuhara Chizuru from the rental app and is surprised to see a cute girl in front of him. They go on a date to the public aquarium where Chizuru gets excited as she has never been to one before. That night, Kazuya reads some reviews about her and is shocked by the same experiences as other men. On their next date, he vows to tell her to stop pretending. During the aquarium date, Kazuya successfully expresses his feelings and they both leave. Chizuru's attitude changes from cute and bubbly to aggressive, revealing her real self. She scores Kazuya for giving her a 1 star rating because she cares about the reviews. In the middle of their conversation, Kazuya receives a call from the hospital that his grandmother has fainted and he hurries to the hospital with Chizuru following. At the hospital, Kazuya's grandmother seems well and upon realizing Chizuru is Kazuya's girlfriend, she rejoices. Coincidentally, Chizuru's grandmother is also hospitalized and the two women are acquaintances. Outside the hospital, they discuss what happened and Kazuya bows to find the real girlfriend who won't have to pretend, especially for the sake of his alien grandmother. I personally enjoyed watching this show. Although I haven't seen the anime, I'm familiar with the story. Although the story is predictable and cliche, I think fans of the genre will still enjoy it. Despite some people not enjoying a live action adaptations, this one works well. Leave a like and subscribe for more videos.